Hi, my name is Melvin Wei. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of plant growing series on my channel. Please check those out. But this is a video about exterminating mosquito larvae with 3% hydrogen peroxide. As you can see, there are some writhing in there right now. So I never had this problem before, but I was always worried about vermin taking a hold in there due to the rich nutrient runoff. Turns out that mosquito larvae eat the microorganisms that grow from such nutrient runoff and they filter it into their mouth parts and keep growing and growing. So the first thing I did before this clip, between this clip and the previous clip, was I siphoned away using a manual siphon pump all of the wastewater in there so that's why it looks a lot better and the water level is much lower. I poured in a fraction of a hydrogen peroxide bottle let this be the beginning, T equals zero minutes. I'm not noticing that much of a reaction. This is very underwhelming. Not seeing any evidence of them dying yet. Although that was a used bottle, so maybe it wasn't as potent anymore. So at T equals seven minutes, this is after I poured in another fractional bottle that contained, again, less than a liter of hydrogen peroxide at 3% concentration. Now these two used bottles may have lost some of their potency already and I'm adding in a full new bottle that hasn't been opened before so that's yet another liter going in there that's close to almost two liters and by now whatever water was in there in the water collection tray after I siphoned away as much as I could is now um, diluted with hydrogen peroxide so the hydrogen peroxide concentration should be at least above 2% at this point. And we're noticing a lot of floating dead ones. But again, I don't know if those came out of the watering tray or what. But this seems like fewer live ones than we had in the beginning of this video. So that's a good sign. But would you really be that convinced by a supposed insecticide that did this and still had all these bugs thrashing around after seven minutes after all most insecticides that you use chemical ones that kill almost immediately stop bugs in their tracks so at t equals 10 minutes i decided to pour in a fourth bottle that contains yet another liter it does look like there is some killing action but it seems like some have resistance maybe those are new mosquito larvae that swam out of the tray on the other side there's an opening in the watering tray built into this pot on the other side i had to spin the orientation of the pot around early in this plant growing series to get the vines to go the right way towards the sun and i'm also going to pour some direct hydrogen peroxide three percent in that patch where i poured some of the wastewater from the rubber tubing of the siphon pump after I was done using it just in case that area has mosquito larvae in it now and there's enough moisture or sitting water somewhere in there to enable them to grow it's a possibility although I think they need a standing pool of water not just really wet dirt so you can see all this thrashing still this is not very convincing insecticide action so for many online recipes, they do something like add one teaspoon or tablespoon or two to a liter or gallon. That seems very dilute to me. So if 3% only manages to do this after 10 minutes, can you imagine what would happen if you followed one of those online recipes and use that to water your garden or add that to water such as this? So at T equals 15 minutes, I've added a fifth bottle in between this clip and the previous one so that's almost a gallon almost four liters slightly under it and I'm not noticing complete cessation of thrashing which is their mode of locomotion essentially so I'm not really that convinced and later on I siphoned all the hydrogen peroxide that you see here almost a gallon and replaced everything with fresh tap water because now everything looks gross. So at exactly 24 hours later, it, that was a pure coincidence by the way, everything seems to have died. So was it the hydrogen peroxide that they were sitting in for several minutes, 15 minutes total, 
or was it the chlorine chloramine that is in tap water you know so you can see all these washed up dead larvae or the water level was once higher so I've siphoned it away twice you know once when the water was rancid and once after all that hydrogen peroxide so I think you'll have to draw your own conclusions I wouldn't say this one-off experiment was very conclusive thanks for watching and please chime in with your two cents in the comments section